Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Carol Stein and today we've got another special 1v1 tournament with none other than the Orange Juice Band. That's right, the best players in OJ are competing for the number one spot in this tournament and uh, we've got a special guest on the channel to help explain exactly how we're going to be doing that. Let's turn some time over to Lex. Yeah, definitely glad to be here. Looking forward to this tournament. Alright, so what we got here is 1v1 smash and grab style. Um, we're going to be playing in a few different maps, starting off in Hard Rock Mine, moving into Mushroom Cave, and then Crystal Cavern. Now, Crow is permabanned, and each brawler gets to put, ban one more brawler before each individual set of matches. It's applicable to both sides. Um, the first few matches are best of three, and the last one is best of five. You guys know the drill. If you haven't seen our other videos, be sure to go check those out. Uh, we've got a playlist for those, so you should, you should be familiar with it by now. But if not, let's hop into some matches, and you can see it as we go. Our first contestant is a top 20 Piper player in the United States. He has a highest trophy count of 8,000 trophies, and even the dictionary says he's endowed with exceptional abilities. Let's go ahead and give it up for Prodigy. With all of his brawlers above 500 trophies, he has a total highest trophies of 9.1 thousand. His favorite midnight snack is jelly beans, salt and vinegar chips, and eggnog. Let's go ahead and give it up for Sigurd. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and jump in here. First off, we've got Prodigy versus Sigurd. Now, Prodigy decided to ban Terra, and then Sigurd banned uh, Shelly. Um, once again, Crow is auto-banned. You can't play, or you can't uh, play Crow, so that's just kind of how it sets. You know, Crow, he's just OP. He's too good like that. Now, Sigurd has coming in here with Bull. He's already went all the way around the map. I think this is going to be a rough matchup for Nita, actually, because he could just, as he's doing now, chase her down and power through that health, right? Just like that. Yeah, that wasn't even an issue. I mean, Seeger just has to dodge one or two shots to really <laughs> right. uh, make that. And now he's commanding that center, so Prodigy's got to try and get past him to even get <laughs> to the the gems. What a I, I, commanding beginning. Yeah, I think that what we'll see here is that he's just going to hold him back, probably not even worry too much about the gems, just keep him back, and then collect them once he's a little bit closer. Well, Nita ran in there, so he had to go ahead and pick him up while he had his opportunity. Using that, yeah. using that special ability just to get out of there. Absolutely. Forced him to go all the way back and use his super just to run away. Um, very, very strong tactic by Prodigy, you know? Very, yeah. very smart moves there. I, I didn't think that he would actually be able to push him out just like that so easily, but he did. Yeah, and now he's got a commanding center. He's just trying to force that gem. Try and stall while the, the mine actually produces some more of those gems. Right. Um, the... He's going... Oh, putting down the bear right there. Oh, he's got low health. He's... Oh, what? no! They both oh. died. The gyms are sitting there. <laughs> and and he actually did use his, stup his super, so he can't rush in there to try and get those gems. He does have a little bit of speed, but Prodigy here. Let's see here. Sigurd is able to grab them all, command all of those right there, and is running with those 12 gems. Oh, boy. He's got very low health right now. He needs to get one more shot in there. He could charge after him. If you wanted to, the bear's on me. Get away. <laughs> oh, man. What a crazy matchup. That was fantastic. That... So it looks like Sigurd is going to be taking that first victory. Yeah, man. The, it was back and forth. One At one point, Sigurd was commanding the next time Prodigy, and it just, that was that was a crazy match. All right, so hopping into this next one, the bands are Bull and Terra. Sigurd, now, okay, so Mushroom Cave, the walls have been reverted back to open up like they were before, and Sigurd has... Mortis, Prodigy's got Terra. I mean, sorry, wow. Shelly. This is going to, I mean, Shelly's a pretty good counter to Mortis, but this is the new and improved Mortis. How do you think this is going to go? <laughs> you know, I've always been really bad at playing Mortis, so it's hard for me to say, but I'm pretty sure that Shelly's going to command basically this entire game. That's just such a hard matchup for for um, for Mortis. He, yeah, she... Seeger's really got to pull all the stops to try and pull this up. Yeah, she's just, you know, poking right now, building up that super. Once she gets that super, then he really cannot even approach her and try to kill her. So it's going to be a very tough road to hoe for her Seagird. Right there is the yeah, super he's, right he's there. There you yeah. go. There, there you go. Is. Yeah. Now, um, this is going to be good for Prodigy, though, because Prodigy lost the last round. So if he is able to actually take this, uh, um, take this victory, then he does have a chance at moving on to the finals. Yes. Put a little bit of pressure on him there, but then had to back off when his health was low. Prodigy now has 9 to 1, and the super's available. There it is again. Yeah, this was a hard match from the start for Seagird there. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely uh, definitely a difficult matchup for him. Prodigy can just run away at this point. Even yeah. uh, even with Seagird having his star power up here, I'd be really surprised if he was able to pull that victory out. Right. Oh, missed the super, though. Oh, 
You know, another couple <laughs> seconds and it might have been a different story. Okay, so now we've got the third round here. One all. Prodigy is banning Terra, and then Seagird is banning Rico. Looks like Prodigy's playing Spike. What about uh, Seagird? He's got Shelly. Um, now, you know, one thing that I was just thinking about before we are going in this match is that since Colt's range nerf, we have not seen him played, and he was always a very popular choice, although Spike is really popular on this map. Yeah, Spike is a really great option in this map. It's interesting, you know, Prodigy definitely has the long range advantage, whereas uh, Seagird has the close range advantage. Um, but still, it's going to be pretty tough because it's not too difficult to dodge those shots for, uh, for Spike, especially for these really skilled players. Right, yeah, Spike's shots are a little slow, but I mean, they both, both of these brawlers have a lot of stopping power, so it could get pretty intense here pretty quick. Yeah, just one super landing at the right place in the right time really could turn the tides for either one of them. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Prodigy is definitely applying the pressure to Seagird, but Seagird has command of that center right there. Yeah, I'm waiting to see where Prodigy unleashes the super. He's going to have to do it quick. Will he use it on the, on the gym? That's what I thought he would probably do. Oh, but a nice super in return from Seagird to push him back off of it. There we go. Both brawlers slowing each other down so that they can't really <laughs> pursue each other or uh -oh. run away. But uh -oh. it looks like Prodigy's... Oh, Whoa. no! What? Nice. That was crazy. Wow. That was crazy. Prodigy was just down to, like, what, 300 HP? And there, Seagird gets taken out. And uh, oh, he's just man. able to use that super. Oh, man. Takes him out a second time. Demanding victory for Prodigy <laughs> right here. That was crazy. You know, Prodigy was behind the entire match, but again, those supers came into play, flipped the script, and took home the victory. Okay, so let's take a look at this bracket. Prodigy and Seagird face against each other. Prodigy did a two-in-one victory. Moving on to the finals. Now we're going to be facing against um, Crowdu versus Copy to see who ends up facing Prodigy in the finals. This next contestant is number one for Steel Junction and number two for Pachinko Park in the world. He has 10,000 high trophies and he is one of the most popular drinks in the world, guys. Let's go ahead and give it up for Coffee. Our next contestant is still missing Crow. He has a 6.7 thousand high trophies, pushing with primarily randoms. No one actually knows how to say his name and I'm pretty sure he doesn't know either. Let's go ahead and give it up for Crowdy. Crowd, crud, crud, crudu. All right, so here we go, hopping into the next set of the semifinals. We got Coffee versus Crowdu. The bands were no bull, no terror. Now Crowdu's rolling out with a lovely little cactus. What's, Ooh. what's Coffee got? Oh, so a pink same. one. Yep, pink, same pink one. versus green, who's gonna win here? <laughs> You know, Pink is definitely OP. It's uh, He's going the pay-to-play route, and it uh, looks like Crowd is playing a little bit more free-to-play. Well, my, I, I don't know who's going to win here, but I know that I like some coffee, so let's see if he likes the milk with his. It'll be silky smooth <laughs> and finish it off here. He's got four already. He's got the commanding lead here. Oh, I need to switch uh, over because he's on the other side. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm just having a hard enough time dodging all the shots. I don't know about you. It's hard. You. It's hard. There's no, there's like no good way to tell which way those little spikes are shooting out. And so, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Crowd Dude does, does have commanding or commanding lead in the center, um, but Coffee does have the gems. Looks like that's actually switched a little bit. They're just trying to push back and forth, try and figure out where those gems are. Here, Crowd Dude comes down, um, try and get... get uh, wow, that was close. Uh, trying to sneak up on Coffee almost worked, actually. Right, yeah, he threw that super in there, almost caught him, but Coffee was able to work his way back. Now Coffee has his super, and Crowdu doesn't. Yeah, he's definitely got to be careful here. Coffee does have the lead. Um, we don't know where uh, Crowdu is, though. He could be hiding um, anywhere in there, really. There he goes. If the super comes down, will he be able to finish him off? No, he escapes with 800 health, but he does push him way back and has firm control of the center. Yeah, he's just got to keep him back there so that he can grab, wait for that uh, mine to spawn another gem, and then he's going to be set. Yep. Oh, wow, a beautiful shot right there from Coffee. Man. Oh, yep, there we go. That's a commanding win. He's basically going to just have to run away and use that yeah, super. Yeah, drop right a there. super right there, yep. I, I'm telling you, Lex, pay to play is the way to go. It's, you know, I'm hashtag gym or gym or, you know, that's the way it goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay, so Coffee's got one victory, and we're going to go ahead and see if Crowdu's able to turn that around and be able to make it to the finals. Okay, so we've got Crowdu actually uh, decided to ban Spike. Um, <laughs> no, no surprise there why. Right. And then Coffee decided to ban Terra, and it looks like we've got him playing Barley versus Shelly? Is that yep. Shelly? Barley, Barley versus Shelly. Barley, the ever popular choice here on Mushroom Cave. 
Uh, so yes. we're going to see how well he can utilize those walls. Keep Terra or keep Shelly back, because um, he just got to keep her away. If he can just whittle her away, keep control of the center, then he'll have a decent time. But if he gets in close, it's going to be all over pretty quickly. Absolutely, you know, it's uh, it looks like it's a little easier said than done. He isn't able to even grab any of those gems. Crowdu is definitely applying that pressure there, even though I would say that um, Coffee has a brawler advantage. He looks like he's able to uh, apply some pressure. Did he hit anything there? He hit like one or two maybe, but not very much of it. One, one thing gotcha. that's interesting is that now that Barley has gotten this nerf to his throwing speed, it, it makes it quite a bit easier to dodge those bottles. It really does, and uh, you know we're seeing that right here. He is able to push Shelly all the way back there. Drops Ooh. that super, does not quite take him out, but he, now he does have an equal number of gems and is applying that pressure. It's gonna be very difficult for Crowd Dude to actually uh, come back from that. We're seeing the strategy again of where he's not really too concerned about the gems. He's just keeping Crowd out, Crowd Dude, Crowd Ew back, and uh, <laughs> just hold them back so that he gets, lets those gyms spawn and, you know, pick them up whenever he feels like at the time's appropriate. Yeah, definitely going to be difficult. Crowdu is applying that pressure right here. Coffee places down that super um, and uh, doesn't quite hit anything. crowdu has got yeah. that, uh, is great at dodging those shots. Yeah, he hit nothing on the super. He followed up with one more shot that he clipped her once with, but it's enough that Crowdu was able to push back in towards the center and, you know, at least make this game close. Yeah, he's actually doing a really great job. Now is where the pedal goes to the metal. He's got to really apply the pressure. Um, <laughs> Coffee is running up to Crowdu's side of the map, and Crowdu decided to try and chase <laughs> him backwards. <laughs> Interesting uh... strategy there. Um, but it worked out. <laughs> he basically couldn't even chase him down. Right, yeah. You went to the wrong side, buddy, but hey, it worked out. <laughs> Now we're coming on to the finals. Coffee had a commanding lead to get there, facing against Crowdu with a 2-0 victory. Let's go ahead and see if he's able to command such a strong lead against Prodigy, the other finalist. All right, so here we go, hopping into the first game of the finals. Now, the bands were Spike and Bull, I think, but it doesn't really matter because these guys have agreed before the match to do a 1v1 Colt style. So here they go, double Colt, locking it down here in the center. Yeah, this is going to be fun to actually watch. Now, Colt v. Colt is, I mean, they, they definitely had to put some trust in each other to do 1v1 Colt. Because even if they said that they wouldn't, they could have done a hard counter, like, um, some, you know, like someone a little bit further distance or something. But right. they're doing it, and Prodigy's got a commanding 4 and uh, O lead. And uh, Coffee, I mean, th this is a great match right here. Right, yeah, Prodigy has the position right here where he's got that wall to hide behind where Coffee really didn't. But he's kind of drifted back out to the center so that now they're just... You know, standing there, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, duking it out. Yeah, super close matches. It's it's really fun to watch these uh, high-skill matches here with Colt v. Colt or similar um, brawlers just because it, it really, every single move that you make really counts. Yeah, and what's what's a little strange to me is that now watching Colt versus Colt here, they're having to stand so close to each other because the range has been nerfed, and so <laughs> it's weird to see them toe-to-toe you know, -to -toe like this. Absolutely. Super close right here. Coffee almost had him all the way down, um, or almost took him out, but he was able to escape right there. Yeah, that super came really close to taking him out, but then he, Prodigy was able to just escape. Yeah, he definitely had a... Uh, Coffee had a really rough spot at the very beginning because Prodigy just was able to grab so many gems there, but he is um, pulling it ahead right here and uh, is trying to juke those oh. shots. Prodigy takes him out. And grabs those gems and is running away as we speak. <laughs> He's going to go in and hide into the bushes. Don't want to give away his position, so we're just going to run here in the middle. Uh, but, yeah, that's a little crazy. The, the, turn <laughs> yeah. of, the turn of events right there. Prodigy's just still hanging out. He didn't even need to come out of hiding. He didn't, he didn't even come out. He's just, oh, man, what a great match right there. So that means Prodigy has one victory. Let's go ahead and see what they do for round two. Okay, so here we've got Prodigy versus Coffee. Uh, Pro or Coffee decided to ban Terra, and then Prodigy banned Barley, and he is playing Spike, and it looks like Spike against Shelly. Right, yeah. So we've seen this matchup in the previous set, um, and Spike was yeah, Spike won. Did he? Wait, did he not? I can't remember now already. I, I think that he did win. Um, but, but yeah, I don't remember either. It was just a few minutes ago. <laughs> Beautiful oh, memory. But, yeah, I know, right? But Coffee does have this commanding lead right here. Um, Prodigy is able to grab a couple of gems right here. It's a close match, actually. 
Yeah, the, I think what Prodigy really needs to do is find a way to get get behind walls. Here's a spot right here where he can really use those walls because he wants to play really close up, uh, especially after he gets a super. Yeah, absolutely. And here comes Coffee dropping uh -oh. down uh -oh. the super. Did uh -oh. he get him out? Is that uh -oh. spike? He is able to grab that spike and looks like he's just one gem wow. short. Of Coffee living that. up to his namesake and pouring some really strong drink right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Black coffee right there. Yes. That's the way I like <laughs> oh, it. Oh, man. It's going to be difficult for Prodigy to catch up to him. Spike is a really strong counter against Shelly. If, uh, if, uh, in this map where the, where the gem mine is just so in the open space right there. That's a victory yeah. for Coffee. So that is one all. All right. So coming into game number three here of the finals, the score is one to one. The bands were no Spike and no Shelly. So we're not going to be seeing a repeat of our last match. Looks like both contestants are rolling in with Terra right here. Yeah, not a bad choice. They uh, they didn't agree to any like skill match or anything like that, so it looks like this is basically all luck. Prodigy is poking around, trying to figure out where he's at. Um, Coffee's just hiding in the corner there. Yep, he's just waiting. He's biding his time and waiting for his moment to come out. And looks like that was he felt was right there. I, I do like that when the when the brawlers when the contestants play the same brawler because it's really a really good test of skill to see who's the best at that brawler. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe we should do like a massive Colt 1v1 tournament or something like that. <laughs> that would be cool. Let us know what you think about that in the comment section below. <laughs> oh, man. But so it looks Coffee... like Prodigy's got a really yeah. good lead right here. That was weird because Coffee definitely had the position and then he backed way off when he didn't really have, wasn't low on health. I'm not sure why he did that. I'm sure he had some reason. But Prodigy's waiting in the bushes here with his super ready to go. Yeah, he's just waiting for him to try and go in there and grab his gems. Looks oh. like he's going for the, the run. And uh, just use that shadow to just kind of push him back a little bit. Grabs that one gem. All he needs is one more gem before he can make the run. Coffee's got his super selected. Yeah, that's the big and... deal right there is that Coffee does have that super, but he missed it. He missed it. It looks like, I think what he was expecting is for Prodigy to make a, a move preemptively and walk into it as he dropped it, but um, didn't quite go well for him. He does have a good commanding position here, though. Um, Prodigy's backed up against that corner. going to be difficult for him to get in there and try and take Coffee yeah, out. Yeah, and, and Coffee's really going to have to hold this position pretty strong because, of course, one more gym starts that countdown. Oh, but Prodigy, <laughs> he finishes them off right there in the close combat right there. That was really fast. You could see both of them just waiting to save up their, their ammo so that they could lay down their shots. And I think Coffee just missed one shot that um, Prodigy didn't, and that's why that victory happened there. Okay, so here we've got Prodigy, or Coffee actually decided to ban Shelly, and then Prodigy the banned Spike. Some popular bans right there, and also some popular matches. Um, Sigurd is playing uh, Rico, and okay. uh, Prodigy looks like Terra. Yeah, we I've seen this we've seen this matchup a few times and usually Terra has the upper hand. However, it only takes a one or two good rounds of shots from Rico to really flip that over. Oh, you said Rico oh. he actually got bull. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Sigurd's not playing. It is Bull against Terra. <laughs> bull came out of the bushes and he was fierce. Now this matchup I do like Bull on this one. Yeah, this is going to be interesting right here. Now, Coffee does have to pull a victory if he's going to win because Prodigy has a chance to win the entire round right here. Best three of five for these finals. Right. He's holding him back in the grass. He's going to take her out right here unless that super pulls him back. There we go. Very commanding uh, lead right here. He's got yeah. six. He's going to grab these other two gems. He's just got to wait for one more now to pop out there. And he's he going for him right, oh. right in the bushes. <laughs> Wow. That was brutal. He, Yeah, there wasn't the, much that he could, he could do to stop that because Coffee just charged right in, said, screw the gems, I'm going to take Prodigy out, and he did just that. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even go for the gems. He was going for Prodigy right there. Prodigy attempts to drop a shadow to try and take him out, but was not positioned in the right spot. Uh, comes into these bushes over here and uh, is not able to find him. All right, so this is game number five here in the finals. To all, the bands were no Terra and no Barley. So this is it. Whoever wins this brings home the victory. We've got Mike versus Spike. That, that rhymes. That's cool. <laughs> That's right. I made a rhyme and I didn't even mean it. Somebody uh, okay. want to mean it? Um, <laughs> sorry. I had to. I had to. Um, so Coffee is commanding the center right here. I think it's going to be pretty hard for Prodigy to, to take this victory. Yeah, this is looking like gonna be, it's going to be a tough match. Yeah, Coffee's just, or uh, Spike is just so good at control right there. 
and it's pretty easy to dodge some of those uh, those dynamites. Yeah, um, they, making they it pretty difficult for him. I mean, his only hope that I think that he really has is just to get a couple really good shots to connect. I think if he lands two sets of two dynamites, then it will take him out, but that's hard to do. That really is hard to do, especially at this top-level gameplay uh, where they're very used to dodging each other's shots and stuff. But he's doing his best right here. He's trying to apply some pressure, but uh, Coffee is able to grab that 10th gem. Yeah, Coffee's gonna looks like he's going to run home with the victory right here. Prodigy picks up one gym just, just to make himself feel better, but then it is quickly ended by <laughs> a nice cactus right in the face. <laughs> Which does not make you feel any better at all. <laughs> so, so that means that Coffee takes the victory for this Orange Juice Band 1v1 tournament. Gotta give him some props right here. He's Absolutely. a very excellent player. There we have it, guys. Make sure you jump over onto Lex's channel because we're going to be doing another 1v1 tournament over there as well. Definitely a blast. And guys, we've got a really exciting thing that we're building up here. We're trying to get the best players from each of the 1v1 tournaments that we've done, putting them into one massive tournament that you guys are not going to want to miss out. Yeah, absolutely. That's going to be a lot of fun seeing all the winners from all the tournaments go into one mega championship and duke it out to see who comes home with the championship for the 1v1. We got three more to go. Well, actually, with this one, two more to go. So check out my channel, and we go have one more after that as well. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining this video, Lex. Absolutely. I'm glad to be here. And for all you guys out there, thank you so much for watching. For now, this is Lex and Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in the arena.